let's come back to what's happening in the Indian space as far as advertising and marketing scenarios go. They seem to be seeing an interesting trend. We've seen celebrities picking up equities in brands that they endorse. For example, we've seen Amitabh Bachchan picking up stake as far as uh, Just Style goes. Let's continue discussing that uh, trend further. We have a brand and endorsement specialist, Harish Bajur, who's joining us now live from uh, Bangalore. Harish, it's always good talking to you. Let me start by asking you on this trend itself. Pleasure. You know, we've seen um, uh, uh, celebrities picking up stakes in uh, companies that they're endorsing. Uh, for example, you know, Salman Khan and uh, Yatra or uh, Amitabh Bachchan and Just Dial that I was just talking about. Is this something that you see will sustain going forward? Well, I see a great big uh, deal of credibility coming into the, in the brand endorsement game with guys actually picking up stake. Uh, because, you know, what's really happening is the consumer is getting rather cynical today. And, uh, you know, brand endorsement uh, promiscuity or brand endorser promiscuity seems to be the norm. So consumers are really looking at people who have a skin, their skin in the game. Uh, so you want uh, a brand endorser to have a skin, blood, sweat, tears, all other body fluids included in the business that he's talking about. So I think this is a positive trend people picking up equity, people representing brands they believe in rather than brands which they don't believe in. Okay. Harish, but you know, there is a flip side to that, uh, especially for the celebrities in the sense that we've seen the Just Dial stock. That has taken a huge knock in the last couple of trading sessions, yeah. which means yeah. that the, uh, the value to the celebrity is obviously going to get eroded. Uh, what would you have to say on that? Yeah, typically, yes. And to that extent, you know, a celebrity needs to do a great big deal of due diligence in the brands that he wants to endorse. Uh, first of all, he needs to have a personal belief in it. Secondly, he needs to uh, sync his image with the uh, image of the brand that he wants to promote. And thirdly, he needs to do a financial due diligence. So to an extent, it's punting, it's betting on the future of the brand, which the guy is going to actually promote. So to that extent, his skin is in it and, you know, his, his interest is going to be deeper. Okay. You know, you were talking about uh, greater responsibility because uh, celebrities are picking up these stakes in the brands they endorse. But uh, shifting focus from just that trend, uh, are you seeing uh, greater responsibility, greater awareness as far as brand endorsements go, especially amongst younger celebrities? Uh, well, you know, not really. I mean, you know, there's a lot of talk uh, from the top. Uh, you know, a lot of people tend to say that I don't advertise this category, this category, this category, fundamentally because I don't believe in it. Uh, actually, it's sour grapes coming uh, most of the time. But typically speaking, I don't see responsibility still occurring in the Indian uh, subcontinent. We are still in generation 3.0 of the, of the celebrity brand endorser. So people are still greedy. People, avarice rules, money rules. And if the right money is given to the right brand endorser, unfortunately, the brand endorser does agree to endorse the brand. Uh, we need to wait another decade maybe till we get real responsible guys who stand up and say, I will not advertise for this category because I do not believe in it at all. It's much better than guys actually realizing it 10 years after they've endorsed a particular brand that I should not have done it and go public on that.